talked about different levels of working together and note that some levels of working together reflect true collaboration and others don't. What are some of the elements of a true collaboration? First of all, people sometimes talk about collaboration without defining it. And it's like, well, what exactly do you mean? And so you'll encounter uh, somebody who says, well, you know, I have lunch with teachers and we talk about kids. And the question is, does that serve a purpose? Well, it very well might. So I would not label that as not true communication. I would put it on a continuum of intensity. We call it a working together continuum. And uh, at, the, at the lower end, there's nothing. You don't talk to anybody, you're off on your own, you don't. And then on the other end, it's something that we call shared creation collaboration. And that's an intensive version where um, SLPs work in classrooms with teachers. But what's interesting about this is the more I researched it and, and um, worked with it is, you know, different levels or kinds of collaboration are called for at different times in different situations. It's not a one size fits all. So part of getting people to think about collaboration is really getting them to assess the context.